Definitely. Another thing I wanted to bring up is trash talk. Yes. It's probably one of my favorite. It, it is definitely my favorite new Gary V uh, thing to watch. It's, it's so entertaining. You're literally going to people's garage sales. You're buying things and flipping them on eBay. What, what made you want to start doing this? It's become very obvious to me that excuses are my poison and I want to eliminate them at all costs. I talk a lot about hustle and hard work and people are kind of pushing back on me a little bit right now. And it's been interesting. I'm like, man, I haven't done a good enough job clarifying that when I talk about work ethic, I'm trying to speak to people who are unhappy or complaining. Not happy with your job? Don't watch Netflix. Work after hours, save money, quit. I'm not trying to get people into depression or burnout. I'm trying to address unhappiness. Um, one of the things I saw a lot in my comments, cause I read them all yep. was, well, I have no money. I'm like, I lived my whole life with no money, but I figured it out. I would just buy, it. I would buy garage sales and it just got me going, going. I love it. It's like a hobby of mine to go garage. I started selling. doing that with clothes. I did. I used to do that with clothes. Dude, the amount guys, especially like a stylish kid, like you, like if you have flavor, if you're listening right now and you don't have money, but you're cool or fl- you got flavor, you got swag, you got style. If you just spend your life in Goodwill and in thrift stores yeah. and buy that you think is fresh and then wear it and take a selfie and put it on eBay for three times the price, or like I see every day, the amount of people that buy $3 t-shirts and sell them for 35 bucks on eBay and Etsy and Facebook Marketplace is enormous. There's no excuse in America to say you have no money, even if you're in the deepest, poorest places, because if you can literally get a dollar, you can buy your first t-shirt at Goodwill and get it up for 15 bucks on Facebook. Because you know what's funny? What's funny is everybody's got a smartphone. Like you go into the poorest places in America and everybody's got a smartphone, which means you have the internet. I mean, listen, the homeless, you've got people all over on homeless smartphones. I get emails every day. I'm homeless, I watch you on YouTube. It, you know, so, I don't know, I really, and listen, of course there's 1% that don't, and I, that's what's always fascinating to me, the 1% that populates, like, what about my aunt? I'm like, cool, I get it. But I'm trying to address 99.9% of people, and the garage sale thing's been huge, by the way, huge. I have tens of thousands of tweets, emails, DMs, messages from people over the last 100 days who were completely inspired by the show, and are making significant money. And significant comes in all forms. Do you know what it's like to make an extra 200 bucks a month when you're not doing well financially? Huge, huge, huge. Like it fucking matters. It's also fun for 50% of people. Like that's the- Well, I watch the videos and I'm watching you like go and you're getting, you're you're picking up these stuffed animals. (laughs) Do you know what this is gonna sell for? 40 bucks, 50 bucks. And seven bucks I get pumped. Like (laughs) buying something for a quarter Selling it for 11 on eBay with the fees, with all the shit that everybody makes fun of me in the comments for, what about the gas, all that. Like, I'm still like, I made six bucks. I bought it for a quarter, I sold it for 11, net six bucks, or I could be jerking off on my couch right now watching Netflix. Like, if you complain and you're unhappy, I will spend my career suffocating the living shit out of you. <laughs> to prove That is point. basically, and by the way, out of gratitude and guilt, Mm. I've come to realize this. I'm so grateful for my DNA, my parenting, my circumstance of growing up with nothing. And I feel a level of guilt. I was so gifted a mother that put me in a position to succeed. I know that everybody has that. So I'm almost trying to play my parents' role for everybody that watches my content. If you don't have that person in your life, let me be that shield. Let me populate you up. You're either a person that goes into comments to drag people down or you're a person that puts out content to put people up. I'm so proud to be the latter. What do you think is the biggest score that you found at a garage sale? AJ once found um, with garage selling with me like $4,000 worth of Super Nintendo games for 10 bucks. Wow. I actually had a crazy one the other day. I mean, the in episode two of Trash Talk, I buy like 500 Olympic pins for 20 bucks and they've sold now on eBay for like a thousand. Wow. A big one's a coffee cups too. I'm obsessed that's, with mug life. Yeah, mug, is, no, that's what I want to bring Honestly, honestly, I don't have any tattoos, life. but I'm like, F- it. I might just put a mug life tattoo on my <laughs> stomach like Tupac. Like I'm, you know why? Mugs are everywhere. See, one of the things they that- They last keeps, forever too. 
forget about that. The key to garage selling is what is actually there. When I started teaching AJ in the 90s, video games everywhere. We cleaned house. Everybody sold their old video games. You didn't want it anymore. You didn't want Nintendo, you had Super Nintendo. You didn't want Super Nintendo games, you had GameCube. Like Everybody sold. Then everybody figured it out. I haven't seen a good stash of video games at a garage sale in like two years. Mm I started seeing like, like it just caught my attention. Like somehow on eBay, I got into some search queries and I was like, why is that coffee mug 20 bucks? Got into it. Every garage sale has coffee mugs and they're always a quarter. And the amount of coffee mugs that go for 10 to 30 is all day. Mug life. Mug life. (laughs) Mug life. life. ADHD or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Am I talking to you? Am I talking to me? It's about anything, it's ADHD.